Today we're going to be looking at coded data. This is a continuation of our lesson on um, the mean. Um, and it's a way of um, manipulating the data that can be useful in yielding some insight into what's going on. So what does coded data mean? Um, to code the data, we are transforming it. Transforming all its values by addition of a positive or negative constant. So each um, each value in our data will be um, will undergo exactly the same transformation. The result of doing this pro process produces a coded a set of coded data so that we get a set of coded data. Now why would we do that? What was the point in this? Um, the reason we would do this um, is it can make it easier to handle um, the data and perform manual calculations. Also it's sometimes easier to work with coded data than with the original data um, for example, we can we can manipulate the data so that the mean is zero. Um, let's see, so if, let's look at um, some numbers here. So let's look at one hundred and one, one hundred and three, one hundred and four, one hundred and nine, and one hundred and thirteen. So if we use the values one, three, four. 9 and 13. Um, this is our coded set. What we've done, if this is the values x, if the values of x is this, what we've done to x is we've minus 100. So this is our coded set. So the mean for the coded values is going to be sigma x minus 100 over 5, which is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 13 divided by 5, which equals 6. So the mean of x is the mean of x minus 100 plus 100, which then will give us 106. Now let's look at um, a diagram. So say we've got some values here. This is our data set. And they live in this range here. This is our data set. And say the mean is somewhere around here. This is the mean of x. And these are x. Then we can transform this whole data set by by, oops, by subtracting some constant b. And then we get our new set of values, which are x minus b, and they're going to be down here. And this is our mean x minus b. Um, so the mean of x minus b is equal to the mean of x minus b. Now, 
just like before we can when we're fight when we're working with the mean we have for um ungrouped data we have the mean is equal to sigma x minus b over the number of values plus b and for grouped values the mean is sigma x minus b multiplied by the frequency where x this time is the mid value um, point um, multiplied by sigma f then plus b these formulae can be summarized by by saying that the mean is equal to the mean of x minus b plus b so let's look at some examples so the exact age of an individual boy is denoted B and the exact age of an individual girl is denoted G. Exactly five years ago, the sum of the ages of ten boys was a hundred and twenty seven point zero years. So sigma B minus five equals a hundred and twenty seven point zero. In exactly five years, the sum of the ages of fifteen girls will be three hundred and fifty one years. So Sigma G plus five this time, so it's five years time, is equal to three hundred and fifty one. Find the mean age today of ten the ten boys. the 15 girls and the 10 boys plus the 15 girls combined. So firstly the boys, so the average age is equal to, so we have the, the sum of of the ages of the boys, so it's 127. Then we would divide that by the number of boys. It's what we were doing pre pre in the last lesson. But now we pl add on the five years, because that was five years ago, so this is now in the present. So that gives us 17.7 .7 years. Similarly for the girls, we have the 351 years 
then we divide that by the number of girls, so there's 15. And this time we minus the five years, because that's in the future and this is bringing us back into the present. So that would give us um, 18.4 years. Now here, this is when we're going to combine the data. So we take sigma b plus sigma g over the total number of young people, which is 15 plus 7, um, 10 plus 15, which is going to be 177 plus 200. And 76 all over 25. Now, and that equals eighteen point twelve years. Let's look at an example with group data. Forty values of X are coded in the following way. So we have x minus 3 and from 0 to the next value which would be 18 between 0 and 18 and then 18 up to, we're not including, 24 and 24 to 32. And we have the frequency Nine, thirteen, and eighteen. So let's calculate. So we want to calculate the mean value of x. So for remember for group data, the mean is sigma x minus three times the frequency over sigma the frequency plus 3. Now, x here is the mid value. So the first mid value, and we call it x1, is going to be 9 from 0 to the 18. Then from 18 to 24, we'll call it x2. <coughs> it's going to be 21. And x3 between 24 and 32 is going to be um, 28. So we have the sum of x minus 3 for this first one is 9 times the frequency, which is 9. Then we're going to add the next one, the midpoint is 21 times the frequency which is 13, add midpoint is 28, times the frequency of 18, then we'll multiply all that by 40, and then we'll be adding 3 on at the end. So that's going to be 24.45. So I hope that helps. We can also code data by using multiplication. So a set of data can be coded by multiplication. As well as addition and subtraction of a constant. Also with a combination of multiplication 
and addition. Where we ad when I say addition, I mean addition of a positive or a negative constant. Um, so let's see how this works. So suppose the monthly oops, salaries of four teachers are $3,600, $4,200, $3,700, and $4,500. Now, the teacher receive Our ten percent pay increase, but the pay an additional um fifty dollars in tax. So what happens to their salary? So the salaries. Increase by one point multiply by we multiply by one point one and subtract so I write multiply uh, multiply one by one point one and subtract fifty. So now their take home salaries are Three thousand nine hundred and ten, four thousand five hundred and seventy, four thousand and twenty, and four thousand nine hundred. The original data has been coded by a multiplication and an addition. So we have 1.1 multiplied by x minus 50. So this is our coded data. Now the new mean is these 3,910 plus 4,570 plus 4,020, plus 4,900, divided by 4, which is 4,350 dollars. <throat> now what about the mean? This is the mean of the coded data. which equates to um, which is the same as 1.1 1 .1 multiplied by 4000 minus 50 where the 4000 is the original mean so if you were to find the mean of this, it would be $4,000. So coded data So I'm going to need more space. Um, so to find the mean from a total from a total such as the sigma of a x minus b 
we can find the mean of the coded data then undo it undo the minus b and undo the multiply by a in that order um, so in this example the mean of x would be 4350 plus the 50 we put back in the tax then we would divide by Let's get there, undo, uh, divide by 1.1, which gives us the 4,000. So our key points here are, for ungrouped, the mean is going to be 1 over A, where we have our sigma ax minus b. So that's our um, the addition of our coded data values divided by n, the number of values, plus b. So we plus our b and then divide by a to get our original mean. Um, for grouped, The, the original mean will be again 1 over a, then we have our sigma ax minus b, so our grouped, our coded data, sorry. Um, the, the coded data values added together, and we times it by the, times it by the frequency all over the sigma f and then if we take this add our constant for dividing by our um, value of a so these can be summarized into 1 over a the mean of x ax minus b plus b now, top tip, sigma ax minus b, you can multiply out the bracket and it can be rewritten as a sigma x minus n b, where n is the number of values. Let's look at some examples. The total area of cloth produced at a textile factory is denoted sigma x and is measured in square meters. Find an expression in X for the area of cloth produced in square centimetres. So, one metre, as we know, is 100 centimetres. One metre squared is 100 squared 
centimeter squared, which is 10,000 centimeters squared. So the total area in centimeters squared is sigma 10,000 x or we can take the 10,000 out and just have write it like that. So sigma x. Um, let's just go over let's go back to that one briefly. So it's the total um, we want the expressions in x for the area of cloth produced. So as each area of cloth x added together that we're working out. So if they had one area like that and then they had another area and then they had another area and another area of cloth. So all these parts of cloth, each one has a different value of x and it's a total value in centimetres cubed. Um, I just wanted to make that, I'm not sure if that was clear from the question. Um, so let's do one more example. For the 20 values of x summarised by sigma 2x minus 3 equals 140 find the mean so we're going to find so n equals 20 and we know that the coded mean is 140 so the mean or the or the mean of the coded values the um all the coded values added together are 140 so the mean of the coded values will be sigma 2x minus 3 over n which is 140 104 sorry over 20 which is 5.2 so the value for the of, of mean for the uncoded values is going to be 502 and we're going to add the 3 then we're going to divide by the 2 and that gives us 4.1 so I hope that makes sense